Hi everybody, I'm Alain Brunot from Alchemical Works, which is my one-man studio where I make the game Battlejuice Alchemist. This video is not a tutorial, but a show and tell of how I created the character customization system for Battlejuice Alchemist within one week. As always, I did not buy any assets and made everything myself. I hope you're curious to see what I came up with. Let's get started. These videos are supposed to be a view behind the curtain of my game development process. So, first of all, what do I mean with I made the system in one week? I log all of my hours I put into the game, so I know quite well how much time is spent on which task. It took me about 10 hours to make the 3D models, 15 hours to make the textures and materials, another 15 of coding and 5 hours of making the user interface. This adds up to 45 hours in total, which I rounded to one week of work. I will now explain what I did over the course of this week. Initially, I did not want to have character customization in my game at all, because I was happy with my version of Juice, the Alchemist. But Battlejuice Alchemist is an action role-playing game, and in my experience, RPG players love to build custom characters. Some like their avatars to be totally different from themselves, Others create characters similar to themselves. This is why it was important to me that there was not only a male and female option, but also a non-binary option, which is a feature I have not seen in many games. I would have loved not to subdivide into genders at all, but I thought this would make the system way more complex than I could handle alone. I hope you are fine with the system I came up with and I did not hurt or exclude anybody with my designs. After making a concept for the system, I started 3D modeling, which is maybe my favorite part of game development. Juice, which is always your character's nickname, is an alchemist who spent most of their life in a lab so far. So I decided not to have the option to choose different body types and concentrate on customizing the head. I modeled one head and three different hairstyles for each gender, but also goggles. It was important to me that all hairstyles were expressive and iconic. So I took inspiration from iconic characters such as Wilson from Don't Starve or The Bride of Frankenstein. On day 2 I finished the 3D models and started painting textures for all the heads and different hairstyles. You may notice that there is a lot of green in these images. This is because I am using a technique that is similar to the green screens you maybe know from filmmaking. When shooting an actor in front of a plain green background, you can later digitally replace this background with anything you want. For Battlejuice Alchemist, I painted the skin colors and hair colors green, so I can later replace them with any color I want. On the third day, I brought the models and textures into the engine. As I explained, the green parts of the textures needed to be replaceable, which can be achieved by making a material. In Unreal Engine, programming a material can be done in the engine's blueprint system. What you see here is the material for the player character and basically almost every other 3D model in the game. You might say that this looks quite complicated for a game that is not even that realistic, but remember that for example enemies can be frozen or the player can be debuffed, which changes the texture. All this needs to be taken into consideration when programming a material. On day 4 I did more programming and brought everything together. I set up a fixed list of colors that the player can choose from for the skin tones and hair colors. Furthermore, the game needed to know where and how to save the information of what choices the player made. The information needs to be passed from the character creation menu to the game itself and also must be saved in the character save game files. Now that the character customization system was mainly in place, I had to make the user interface or UI. The UI is the front end that the player interacts with when creating a character. It needs to be designed to look good and be intuitive to use. When I had the UI functional and looking ok, I started testing the system. As almost always in game development, things were more difficult than I expected. I had to do a lot of bug fixing until things worked as intended. In the end, I had a working system that lets the player customize their character. 
Of course, my system is not as elaborate as they are in AAA games, but I like how the characters you can make feel unique and fit into the game's world. I hope you liked this little story of how I created the character customization system for my game and maybe you got a bit excited to create your own version of Juice the Alchemist once the game has been released. You can wishlist Battle Juice Alchemist on Steam, there's a link for that in the description. If you liked this video, you may consider subscribing or supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.